Hey Piscatorians, welcome back to the channel. It is early Sunday morning in Area 11, and it's the start of crab season. I think this is the first Sunday it opened uh, this last Monday. Um, crabbing's open Sunday and Mondays here, Area 11 of the Puget Sound. Um, gonna make a little video here um, for you newbies out there, a little crabbing 101. It's your first time crabbing, just some stuff to share with you. Um, you know, you bought a crab pot. Uh, the kits these days, I think, are coming with uh, weighted line, but if your uh, crab pot setup has that poly rope, get rid of it, okay? Um, the reason I'm talking about this is uh, on Instagram yesterday, I uh, saw somebody uh, that had a reel that follows my Instagram, and they were showing their crabbing. They did uh, get a keeper or two, so that was awesome. But uh, one thing I noticed about their pot was they had no weight in it. Folks, you have to weight your pot here in Puget Sound. There's a ton of current. Um, so what I like to do is add 2.5 pound plates to each corner of the pot, adding 10 pounds. And that's gonna be good for most of the, you know, crabbing 100 feet or less. I mean, if you have a really big tide swing, you could add even a little more, maybe go to, I don't know, 15 or 20 pounds. Um, but I haven't lost any pots uh, putting 10 pounds of weight in them because you also have the weight of the pot. But a lot of people say, oh, my pot got stolen. Somebody stole my pot. There could be some dirt bag out there that did steal your pot. But 90% of the time, if you don't have weight in it, that pot got swept out in the current. And now it's trapping crab, killing them, and you're out, you know, 150, 200 bucks for your setup. So uh, here's one of the cheap crab pots. And as you can see, I got the weighted leaded line. Um, that's what you wanna run. Um, also, here's those weights I was talking about. Uh, these are well seasoned, this pot's well seasoned. Um, this is one of the less expensive ones. Over here we got a Bomac pot with the ramps. Um, this is a little slower fishing pot, but the crabs don't really get out of this one. Um, these with the current um, can get pushed up. I don't know if you can see that, but I wrapped some uh, leaded line around the doors to help weight them so it keeps them closed with the current uh, a little better than without the weight um so that's just something i want to tell you guys about uh rigging your pots um i got mine set up with 150 feet of rope um i was thinking maybe even go longer uh, it's been hot um you know the last few days here and i think when it gets hotter the crab go a little bit deeper but i'm going to be focusing about 130 um to 100 feet maybe i'll put one shallow just to check it out um, but with that said i'm gonna bait these and then we'll get throwing them in the uh, puget sound here and get to crabbing hey one quick tip guys carry zip ties because over the summer got brittle broke off but you have backup zip ties you can zip tie it back in your pot a little uh, tip for you have some uh, tools to make sure you can keep your pot squared away all right, so we got a bait bag there filled with salmon heads and a chicken quarter. Um, I zip tied the bait bog bag to the uh, bottom of the square and then I attach it with a, a bait clip to the top. And that's just to kind of keep it in the center so the crabs can't pull it out of your trap. Um, we're going to uh, set this one at, um, oh, like 85 feet and uh, start with that. That'll be kind of one of our our shallow pots and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right guys, we're crabbing. All right, our ramp style pot here. It's kind of cool, it has a, a bait cage in the center. This is one of the uh, Bomac pots. You can get these at Sport Co. John Sporting Goods, Holiday Sports, um, your local, you know, fishing shop in your area, um, you know, give them the business. They got good quality products, experts to help you get set up. Um, we're going to set this one 102 feet. This is going to be our deepest pot. We're going 130. Pop 
pots away. All right, now we got pot number four. Now four crab pots on your boat with two people. Here we go. Now we're gonna sit and wait. I'm gonna go for an hour soak. Um, sometimes though, you can check them in like 35, 40 minutes, but um, you know, I like to let them soak a little bit longer. Let those crabs find the uh, door and get in there, battle it out. Hopefully we'll get some big ones like some hubcaps. But uh, hope you guys are excited as I am. I noticed some of my baits, a little freezer burned. We got some fresh resi cohos from one of our recent resi coho trips. So I tried to uh, use some of the freezer burn bait just to use it and get rid of it. But I mixed a piece of the fresh bait in there um, or a quarter piece of chicken. So. We got a little stale bait, a little fresh bait. Um, I would always recommend fresh bait, but uh, we had our freezer go down, our bait freezer, and it refroze. So I'm just going to try to use it rather than throw it away, see how it works. But uh, if you have the option, fresh bait is always the best bait. Yeah, I like that. Anyway, all right, guys, we'll be back. But yeah, and then one important thing to do um, is always mark your spot. But yeah, if you can see there, that's the uh, one of the spots I like to crab. Been here a few times. Um, but you want to mark it um, that way in case you go fishing. Uh, you know where you left your pot. You know how to get back to it. Um, and yeah, hopefully that helps for you folks that are uh, new to crabbing for the first time. And then, uh, you know, you want to look for flat, sandy bottom. Um, you know, you want to have the sand for uh, more opportunity for the Dungeness crab. Uh, rocky bottom, you'll get more um, red rock crab. Um, but you can get a mixture of both and both substrates. Just, uh, you know, those Dungeness crab like to uh, kind of burrow into the sand and you'll find uh, higher concentrations in sandy bottom. All right, guys, one thing that's helpful is gaff to uh, gaff your buoy. Um, it's time to pull the first crab pot of summer 2024. So, here we go. that 85 foot Maybe get that right about there yeah so this one's about 85 feet guys got the uh, Scotty crab pot puller also very helpful yeah they're about 500 bucks there's a couple different brands you got the ace Brutus line hauler it's a little higher out of the water um, I've had this one now for gosh almost 10 years and haven't had any issues with it. It's not the fastest uh, pot puller, but it's pretty dang solid, the Scotty. Um, you know, you can pull these by hand too. 100 feet's not too deep, but we got this mainly for um, shrimping. But since we got it, might as well use it. Down. Oh, rock crab it. made a run for it. <laughs> Hi, Dundee. Well, yeah, that's not bad right there. We got a couple hubcaps, maybe two keepers. Got a keeper red rock. So, on the uh, Dungeness crab, for you guys new into it, in Puget Sound, they got to be six and a quarter inches across the carapace. Um, red rock crab are five inches. Um, they also have to be male crabs on the Dungeness crab. And if you've never had rock crab, it's pretty good. Yeah. Good. I'm good. Hard? But yeah, one thing you guys want to check 
is that the crabs are hard shell condition. You can see this guy's dirty. Um, he's definitely hard shell, but uh, you just squeeze them, you know, and if it's squishy, uh, that means it's molted recently and you gotta let them go. Um, they need to be a hard shell condition. Um, I mean, another spot to uh, try is right here. Like if this is really flexible, just let them go. They're not gonna have any meat in them. And you're not allowed legally to keep the uh, soft shell condition. So you always wanna check that out. Um, this is the crab's abdomen. This is a male. They're long, narrow, and pointy. And uh, this one's definitely an easy keeper. Um, see here's the points. You're gonna measure to the inside part of these two points. Okay, this bottom section is six and a quarter. So it's gotta fit between here and here. That would be six and a quarter. And you can see this one definitely well over that. That's what you call a knocker, like knocking on a door. So that's a good one right there. We're gonna put him in the well. And then before you drop your pot too, we're gonna record those on our, uh, our um, catch, card. catch card. I wanna say punch card, but it's not <laughs> a punch card. And so anyway, that's number one. And then I think this guy, the potential keeper number two. So again, we're gonna, he's a knocker too. So this one's about, mm, I'd say six and three quarters. That other one was definitely about seven and a half. So that's two keepers right there. Check this guy, this one. I think it's gonna come up too short. Yeah. Oh no, oh, that's well. a keeper too. Sweet. So that's pretty sweet guys. Just, you know, barely a keeper, but it is a keeper. So that's just above the bare minimum. But uh, yeah, I thought we would show you. I don't know, I'm trying to hold it for the camera. But yeah, see that? It doesn't go past, so yeah. Another keeper, that's three from the first drop. And this one definitely will be short. But, and you can see here, see how there, there's the gap? Yep. So that one back gets a water. ride back to the water. And we got this red rock crab. It's only got one claw. Claws where you get most of the meat. I mean, you can get meat out of the legs, but uh, we'll elect for one with two claws. We'll spare him and uh, let him go. That one that was the uh, rider, he would have been a good one, but uh, not bad. We got three, uh, three crabs for the first pot at 85 uh, feet. Now we're gonna move to the uh, 100 foot one and then uh, we're gonna mark those on the card. We'll show you that too. All right, so. Here's the summer catch card. Marine area, you gotta put your marine area. And yeah, just like that, if you haven't done it before, we got three on there. That way, if WDFW were to come up and check us right now, that's one of the things they're gonna ask. If you don't have this filled out, you might be headed home with the ticket, so don't be that guy or gal. Uh, it only takes two seconds. We got our wonderful pot here, still haven't deployed it. But that's the right way to do it, guys. Don't let anybody tell you different. All right, well, that's not bad. Uh, hopefully that all recorded. I don't know, my camera quit recording there for a minute. But uh, three keepers in the first drop, not, not too bad. All right, here comes pot two. Carly said she wants to pull this one in, so we're gonna let. Oh, gotta make a big reach. This one's the one at a hundred feet.
All right, honey. Get to it. Earth. Oh, this one doesn't look too good. <laughs> okay. I need some red rock crap. Oh, they're little. This one's our 130 foot pot, which I thought was going to be our better one, but so far, 85 feet, 100 showed not much of anything, so we'll see if this deep one goes. If not, I guess we'll be focusing around 85 to uh, 90, but then we do have one shallower pot at like 65, that's you know, our shallowest one, so we'll figure out where these crabs are over here, and so far, 85 has been our, our best test. Oh yeah, there's some nice ones in there. Holy moly. Look at that. Okay. Oh, very nice. I would say deeper is better, like I was thinking. That's 130 feet. We got several keepers in there. Several, several keepers. Yeah, look at that. That's crazy. He's really big. All right. All right. Well, let's get our our gauges and see how we do here. <laughs> that one's an absolute monster. Right here. Checking him nice and hard. Well, look at that, another knocker. Knocking on the door. Right. That's a big red rock crab. Yeah. You see the other gauge there? This gauge doesn't have a measure. But again, they gotta be five inches, so this one's got a ruler on it. Look at it, yeah, he's about Oh, five and a half, so he'll make the box. And you don't need to mark red rock crab. Nope. Yeah, they could be male or female. Another giant. Now see this one. And check him. I was thinking he was going to be a softy because it's pretty clean. But, uh, let's see. Trying to. Crap. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty hard. And so. not very happy with you. <laughs> no. I thought he was going to be a softy to chuck back. There's a limit. Not so much. Oh, another knocker. All big hubcaps. Yep, nice and hard. Stop fighting. Another knocker. Stop fighting. So we've got three, six, seven. Another knocker, eight. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Nine. Oh, but that one's soft. I don't know. It's hard to farm. I mean, you can't really show on camera, but I can squeeze him pretty good. I can feel he's just nice and soft, so we let him go. That's a keeper, but he's got to get a little harder. So he gets to get chucked back. Mm -hmm. we got Barnacle Bill over here. <laughs> See why we called him Barnacle Bill? He's got a barnacle right there. 
I didn't mean to flip off the camera. Here, let me, this finger. <laughs> Sorry guys, that wasn't towards you, I promise. Yep, he's just a keeper. About an eighth of an inch bigger than he needs to be. So, yeah, Barnacle Bill, he's in there. So that gives us what? Uh, God, I can't count. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine. That's nine of them. Woo. <laughs> he's trying to pinch me. He's too small. He's trying to pinch you. He goes back to the water. Too small. Oh, perfect. For you new crabbers, this is the female. You see how the abdomen is nice and wide. These are the baby makers. Can't keep them. Let them go. Let her in carefully. Because why not? <laughs> nice to her. Uh -huh. This looks like another girl that's all wrapped around the pot here. Get her out of there. Yep, another female. That'd be nice to her too. All right. All right, so we need one more keeper pretty quick. We haven't even pulled all four pots yet. We got to go check the shallow pot now. All right, guys. So punch card filled out. All entered there. Totaled. Pot has not uh, been dropped back in the water. You see it behind me. Shallow pot. Yeah, this one's at 60 feet. See how it does. Get the grass off of it. Alright, honey. one has been the best one so far. Now we'll see the shallowest one, see how it performs. Let's go on to Red Rocks, a couple of keepers. Alright, so shallow, Ooh. sorry rock grab, you just got a concussion. So shallow, not as good Come here. for us today anyway, but uh, got some nice Red rock crab. Good ones. Their claws are really good. Oh, there they are. We have an escapee. An escapee, hang on, that's a big one there. That one's a, a six incher. That's a big one too. Another six inch. borderline and only has one cloth. You know, we'll go for big ones. I mean, this one's definitely too small. Come on, little crab. <laughs> Get out from under there. We're trying to let you go. Okay, well, we're going to deal with him in a minute. All right, here's round two of the pots. Looking for that last dungeon. Our square trap at 590 again. See how it does. Seaweed off there. Alright, one more. We just need one more. Oh, this one. Feeling heavy on the motor here. So maybe we're done with this one pot. Suspense. <laughs> oh, it's got a lot of weeds on it, but yeah, there's keepers. There's keepers. Oh man, that one is huge. It's huge. Wow. Seaweed with your crap? 
That thing is a monster. Crab. You don't really need to bother with legs on rock crab, just need to pull the meat out. Well, on the bigger ones, you can get the meat, you know. Yeah. Don't want to waste them. Little baby crab. Look at that guy, though. Look at those claws. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But you guys want to see the hubcap. This one right here. Holy moly. I'm missing a leg, but, you know, he's giant. Yeah. Like, just to show you he's okay, okay, okay. a good seven and a quarter seven and a half well, yeah he's not missing the leg he's missing the, one of the claws but we're taking him that's a limit guys just like that all right well that was easy we got 10 dungeness we got some nice red rock crab not too worried about getting limits of red rock crab we just kind of take what come in the pot but uh yeah there they are in the live well I mean just some massive crab you look at like this one in comparison to this one it looks tiny but this is you know just over six and a quarter keeper and these are some hubcaps so, hope you guys liked today's video if you did smash the like button share it with a friend also if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and uh, do have an Instagram at the Piscatorian uh, we're making a reel uh, later this afternoon of boiling our crabs and uh, this jet boiler that I have sounds like a damn jet you should check it out on Instagram later today Again guys, thanks for watching and as always, tight lines. <laughs>